Hi everyone, my name is Lisa Woken and this is the Leadership Lifestyles video blog. Today we'll be covering part two of The How of Happiness, a book by Sonia Lyle Bomersky on the topic of how do we actually approach happiness. In the last episode we covered the three different pieces of the overall happiness pie. 50% of your happiness comes from genetics, 10% comes from life dealings, and 40% amazingly is something that you actually can control because it's daily activities that you engage in. So how do you determine what activities to engage in? Well, in this fabulous book by Sonia Lyle Bomersky called The How of Happiness, she covers exactly how you can do that. She has a full assessment that's scientific based where you can determine which happiness activities or interventions as they're called in the book will be most effective for you. For example, how many times has somebody told you, oh, just be optimistic? Or, oh, just journal it out. Journal your heart out. You'll love it. It'll make you happier. Well, oftentimes, we come from the angle of what makes us happy. And we often assume that that might make somebody else happy as well, or equally happy as it makes us. And that's just not true. So maybe for you, expressing gratitude makes your heart sore. And maybe for me, I get a little boost because yes, expressing gratitude is a great way to be happier tomorrow than you were today. So maybe I get a little boost, but maybe not as much as if I were to engage in something like a workout activity or, um, or journaling for that matter. It really depends on the individual. Sonia Lyle Bomersky provides us with an assessment where we can actually determine what those are. For example, I'll give you just a smattering of them that turned up as incredibly high on my personal list. So one of the things for sure is savoring. So taking in the present moment and looking around and going, oh, that's so beautiful. This makes me happy. So even if I had something bad happen, even if I had a really sad day yesterday, I still will be able to take joy in that moment and sustain that feeling of joy more than maybe the typical person would. I have expressing gratitude. So telling people how much I appreciate them makes me really happy. I reap a lot of personal happiness from that, which actually kind of makes it selfish if you think about it, but in a very selfless way. Those are just some examples of activities that you can do. We'll be going way more in depth on some of the concepts, dissecting out this whole concept of scientific happiness even further. Stay tuned, there's more to come here, but I would love to hear your thoughts and feedback on the video blog, so please leave your comments. Please um, let me know if you have any questions, and share with your friends and subscribe, because we are just getting started. Thanks!